So it's right around 10.40 a.m. on uh, Wednesday, July 31st. I am waiting for an inspector from the Boston Sexual Services Department to show up today um, once again to verify and investigate bad conditions and code violations, not just in this unit, but in the building as well. Um, this is the state of my unit right now. The floor is swept. I've moved a few crates out into the hallway just for easy access to the door. Those will be moved back in later. Um, but right now, the Greenville Group has failed to comply with a code violation order that was issued to them on July 12th, 2024 for multiple code violations in this unit. And that is going to be part of today's inspection. They're kind of stupid. I mean, I don't know what about a citation they don't understand, but they have failed to address at least two or three code violations as issued to them on July 12th. One of these issues is a leak. There is massive amounts of water. Do you hear that? Check this out. See how much water is under here? <laughs> massive leak. They replaced the faucet and it's just, it's leaking all over. There's literally a puddle of water under here. So there's that. It's also leaking all over the counter. So these washcloths right here, there's a pool of water right here. These are completely soaking wet. Do you see that? That's how much water is accumulating on the counter. It, it's like, and it, then it goes around the edges of the sink and then it drips onto the floor and then the floor is damaged. And one of the issues that they did not fix are the damaged floor tiles here that are lifting up because of the moisture. So there's also a cockroach infestation that continues and they haven't fixed that. I mean, I don't know how hard it is to just get a uh, exterminator in here, especially since the cockroaches are also in the common areas. In the bathroom, they have fixed the issues. So the toilet was fixed. This was fixed. But there's also issues in the common areas, as I keep documenting. So this is just temporary. That's going to be moved back in. <laughs> but there's just, you know, trash. That's been there for like three days because the low life perving ass wipe who lives in 88 doesn't clean anything. Um, non functioning fans in the bathrooms. So there's no fan in here. It gets like really damp in there. Also, no towel rack. And again, as I keep mentioning, the Greenville group throws out all of my shower curtains and towels that I just drape over the railing, even though they don't block access to anything. And they're just temporary, but then they leave these giant pieces of trash equipment. And I don't even know, what is that, an upside down table or something? I don't even know what that is. That's certainly not mine. I took down all of my recycling earlier today. So none of that stuff has anything to do with me. And the same situation that you see here is on every other landing in the rear stairwell area for this entire building. So if there was a fire people wouldn't be able to get to the access to access the exits, right? This is a uh, emergency fire exit. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> criminal slumlord, as I keep saying, criminal slumlord, verifiably. The city of Boston has charged the Greenville Group with criminal uh, negligence for failing to address multiple code violations in this unit, not just this year, but over the last three years. Three years in a row, the city of Boston has had a criminal lawsuit against the Greenville Group for failing to comply with the Board of Health and with city inspectional code violations or code sanitation code requirements, uh, thus issuing code violations on multiple occasions to the Greenville Group for failure to bring this unit up to code, which means that this unit has not been up to code in three years. It's been continuously in a state of code violation since 2020 especially with respect to the heat. They have either failed to provide adequate heat, m meaning they provided no heat, or then they had the heat up so high that literally whoever came in here was getting cooked. Um, inspectional services clocked the temperature in this unit 
in January of 2021 at 87 degrees. Like you're literally cooking your tenants when your heat is up that high. And Greenville refused to fix the heat even after that citation. I had to call them three more times. And the other uh, temperature readings from the inspectional services inspectors at the time were also in the 80s, which is completely illegal. So when I say that the Greenville group is a criminally negligent slumlord, I am going by legal records and legal uh, lawsuits filed against the Greenville group by the city of Boston on multiple occasions and for multiple code violations since 2021. So I'm really not sure how this right here can possibly be legal unless the inspector is corrupt or just has a soft spot for the Greenville group or she feels bad for them because they're just so stupid and uh, incompetent, right? But, you know, all my trash is removed, so none of this is mine. This is the Greenville group's junk right there. Trash. That's not trash. That's just water I use. And cockroaches, again, throughout the unit. I can't see, um, but I can feel the little bugs running around. And then you find these dead carcasses that look like a dead bug when you're sweeping or wiping down the sink area, especially around the stove and the sink. Um, all of the pests in this unit come from the bathroom of 78. All the mice that I've seen have always been in this area. All the cockroaches have been in this area. And because I don't keep any food anywhere, um, as you can see, there's nothing under here right now. And the items I was storing under the sink are these electrical cords and plastic bins with Tupperware containers. I'm not sure why there's such a concentration of mice and cockroaches over by the wall of Unit 78, which has been kept permanently vacant and empty for almost three years now by the Greenville Group. If, if Unit 78 is vacant, it is entirely possible that there is an infestation of cockroaches and rodents in there, and nobody is going to do anything about it because they don't know that they're in there, just like they don't know or they claim not to know that there's a psychopath named Jasmine Irizarry who's continually accessing the premises of her former bathroom located directly behind this wall. And then Irizarry, the psycho scum, a rejected psychopath, sex offender, hate-stalking, uh, criminal uh, cyber hacker, according to her handler, Mr. Oleg Eliseyev at the Greenville Group, she engages in the same exact pattern of stalking, harassment, slamming and banging and doxing her own physical presence behind this wall now as she did during the 10 years that she was officially housed in unit 78 by the greenville group between 2013 and 2023 so that keeps happening Irizarry is a disgusting rejected piece of shit that has no life and hate stalks people um for rent basically as i've been informed by several people who know what goes on in this building and are aware of the greenville group's nefarious um playing dirty business practices as one housing agent named paul put it he said, they play dirty. You've got to watch out. But I hope that you successfully, he's like, I hope you can successfully sue them. Well, I'm trying, Paul. I'm trying. <laughs>